Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Dr. Kingslow Turo here in Edinburgh and all the way from London, Bukola Root, Aino. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> How are you keeping? I'm well, blessed and highly favored by the grace of God. <laughs> Amen. Well, I hear the weather Amen. is very warm in, in London. How's the weather where you are? Awesome, awesome. It's bright, it's shiny. And that's why my lighting is not really good now because <laughs> the sun is really bath. There. It's beautiful. It's awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think I was in London some weeks ago and um, so I had to leave the window open. I've not left it open for quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> is it that cold in scotland <laughs> yeah right here in scotland it's a bit cold even with the oh, sun you wow. have the sun and the cold together really hmm. <laughs> wow. it's awesome here right now it's so beautiful amen so i'm going to talk about lifting him up lifting jesus higher so you've got a single lift jesus higher can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and about the single call we had the first um the first part and this is the second part of the discussion yeah. so can I talk a little about your single and how, how how you got into the music hello there i greet you in the name of jesus um and thank you pastor for inviting me uh, on your platform again uh, my name is Oluwa Bukola ruth i know um i've been in the worship team for more, almost uh 18 20 years right now wow and I started, I never knew I could sing. I never knew I, I had the, the gifts to sing because right when I was in Nigeria, I started business with my mother whilst even going to school at the age of 16. Wow. So there was no time, no time for even child. On Sunday when we go to church, we just want to go and uh, get a benediction. Uh, my God, we're going this <laughs> week again to see us through the uh, business plans and everything because we travel a lot. We go to wow. the northern part of Nigeria. We go to hmm. uh, uh, Benin Republic to, to wow. smuggle Ankara. We sell materials. We sell Ankara. In fact, my 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 specialist was Ankara, and any letters Ankara, then that is what we do. <laughs> we, we 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 anywhere it is, we go for it. Kind of we dig for Ankara that want to sell in Aswani market. So wow. there was no time for church. There was no. The only time we have for church is just go on Sunday and we always get late to, to church on Sunday <laughs> and we pray. <laughs> it's just like once again, you know, your Bible say Ori of it. Once again, I said the grace for the for the <laughs> venture we have ahead in the week. But when I came to this country, I believe when God has a purpose for you, he can change your location Man. if you don't know to get you to where he wants you to get to. Wow. I believe the Lord changing I will I honestly Right from 16 years, I've been in business. The Lord so much blessed me in wow. everything in that business. So, but I believe you, you needed to break me down and take me from where I was to bringing mm. me to, to, to shaping me, break me down and shape me up to bring what he wants out from my life. Mm. And coming to this country as a, an overstaying visitor, but the Lord has regulated my stay here, which I really am wow. so grateful for now. But it I was stripped of what I used to know. I was stripped mm. of of having money. I was stripped of what I used to know. But so, but in that, the Lord, to me, the Lord make me much more better, and I'm so grateful. And it was those this wow. time that that I think I went to a church. I don't know, maybe I've shared on your plus. I went to uh, the church we used to go there in CAC Kingswell, and we they were singing one song. They were doing their 25th anniversary that year. And they were singing one song that I used to love to sing when I was in Nigeria, when I'm on the on the bus, 12 hours uh, travel to Kano, to Kano State. Wow. I I was always singing that song whilst we're on, on the on the on the bus there when we travel. And they this choir in Kingswell, London, they sang this song and they murdered this song. They mm. they sang it so badly that I I I wish I could beat all of them there. But <laughs> <laughs> but it was my own calling. Wow. Because I got back home and was so angry that this choir could sing the song so badly. And wow. ever since after after that day, I was so, you know, so angry. I don't know why I was angry because they sang the song wrong. But as it persisted and persisted, and I and I asked a question, why am I why am I thinking about these people? Why am I thinking about this song? 
Mm. And I heard a still voice that said, join them. Maybe you can do something. I said, me, hey, me, <laughs> hey, me. I can't sing. Or well, what do you mean? I can't sing. Oh, well, it can't, this, this, I begin, not know the Holy Spirit just keep coming again and again, again, and again. And I submitted to that and I joined the wow. choir. And, um, oh, it's, it's kept me the, 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 the um, the process, the journey I had to go through before my, my, uh, stay was regularized. That being going in, uh, answering the, the, the voice of the Lord and joining mm-hmm. the choir kept me in sanity, kept me discovering so many things about myself, kept me in sanity mm-hmm. and kept me discovering so many things. I decided to not just be a church goer, but to be mm-hmm. a child of God. I started studying mm-hmm. the word of God. I started discovering so many things about the uh, word of wow. God, about God through his word. And so many gifts that I never knew I had started springing forth. So, oh. and that's the history. Of course, I'm, I know that um, the one day, the pro- his promises will come to pass that mm-hmm. I will be leading millions of people into the presence yeah. of God. <laughs> and I, it's, it's with passion. And anywhere I go, be it in the white church, something is that the passion, the grace God has given unto me always make me to stand out for his glory, not of my mm-hmm. own doing. But I do tell people that I was sitting there, Jamie. I was sitting my own. I was doing my own thing. <laughs> I came to this country doing my own thing. You know, before, before I started hearing, like, maybe you can do better. Maybe you can do better. I was called to do what I'm doing. I didn't join the choir because I love how to sing. I didn't join the choir because I know how, I, I knew how to sing. I never was in any, any worker in, when I was in Nigeria because there was no wow. time. We were, we were always traveling. So there was no time, but I, and I tell, I'm here to serve the Lord. I'm mm-hmm. here to worship the Lord. I'm here to lead, to do what he's asked me to do. I'm mm-hmm. not in competition with anyone. And every church I go to, that's always stand to the glory of God's holy name. So yeah, that's a little bit of my story. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, you're very, very passionate. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Yeah. Because that God, you know, despise not the days of small beginnings. You know, yes. even with those choirs, you just went on with it. And God keeps opening new doors. Oh, I learned a lot. One thing in life is, if you want to grow, you must be teachable and you must be mm. able to learn. No mm. matter how small or no matter how big the person may be, be teachable, mm. be eager to learn. I mm. remember I, I, in, in that is where I started from. It was a very very good start the lord brought me into to wow. start with the choir because we were being taught by one excellent skillful musician he's a pianist prince prince barry that's what we call him so mm-hmm. then he taught us how to side <laughs> sing he taught us hymns i love hymns he taught mm-hmm. us hymns he, my beginning for being in the in the worship team in the worship was absolutely wonderful but mm-hmm. i well of course when when we changed the church uh, it was more contemporary, not of those hymns that we yeah. need to sight sing. And, but it was awesome. I remember then when I first started that people was like, if you continue like this, you will be in an opera house very <laughs> soon. Because it was like, you need to know how to sight sing. You needed to, we needed to. So it was awesome. It was oh. so, so awesome. But when we changed, um, uh, because we moved from uh, North London then, then we changed mm-hmm. into other, uh, other uh, uh, church. It was more of contemporary and all this classical sound kind of yeah. singing. But my my exposure to music first, the, when I started, was classical. And yeah. I love hymns. I that was my my beginning. So it was mm. awesome. Yeah. I have very strong high vocals as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's gifts on its own, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that I had you on um Facebook I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I, we were having rehearsals and this guy was playing many keys on the on the keyboard. And whatever he plays, by the grace of God, I had the ability to sing it. And yeah. he came to me, hey, hey, stop there. Are you, you're, not a, you're, not a, you're not an instrument. You, you sing. How can you be singing every key I play? I said, I don't know. I'm just following you. <laughs> so it's just all the gifts of God. I never knew this until I, was, I could, I never knew I could sing a note together until I was 26. And that was when oh. I joined the choir, the, the worship team. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, you said you started singing when you were eight, you know, 18 years ago. So were you one year 20... old? Were you, st- were you one uh, year old? 
Well, you my, my, like no, no, no. Where you want your old way? It's all the, honestly, it's all the grace of God. The more I get old, as the young, the younger I look. <laughs> I don't know. You say it's just... with good things, so your youth is yeah. renewed like the ego. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So the song, the, your letter single, Lifted Up, what was the story behind the song? Um, to me, I believe. Um, our worship song should be more reflected to, or to more be giving up there because most yeah. of the some of the time now we listen to more um, songs it is kind of emotional reflecting and uh, mm. we reflect on our emotions but mm. I believe that all that we may sing should be God-centered everything yeah. we do should be God centered, especially when it comes to gospel songs. And mm. if you listen to, I, I love people that have gone ahead. I love people doing great and mighty things um, in the music industry, in the gospel music ministry. Mm. I would say I don't want to use industry because we call it a ministry. So in the yeah. gospel ministry, but sometimes we reflect more on our emotion. But I believe where the Lord has brought me from that all I sing about must be about Him. Mm. Everything when I lead people in worship, it must be reflect be every people's heart must be there and that's mm. why i just come together that god it ha has to be lifted high he, because he's holy he's righteous mm. he's merciful and if we as human beings fail to lift god high mm. the host of heaven will never fail i mean yeah. like we have in the bible in the book of revelation says the the 22 24 elders that bow before him the, mm. the the beast and the and the creatures and the great creatures they flee at his mm. presence so and this is my own my own my own side of course no matter how much good the, the uh, emotional worship song is i don't go into that i go into any song that has to do with him that has called mm. us into this into this journey yes it's all about jesus yes Bible says, you know lift up live, live the love on high yeah. shout unto god with a voice of triumph amen yes you know like, you know saying like some of the songs you know they sound so good but you can hardly sing them you know <laughs> you can hardly follow yeah. it you have yeah. to have very high vocals and all that to follow but <laughs> i believe that <laughs> a lot of the, the songs that god is bringing in these last days are god-centered songs yeah. songs that are scriptural and point people to jesus yes you know also that i and the children that god has given me are for signs and wonders and Amen. signs are supposed to point point people to jesus not point to yes. ourselves mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. supposed to point people to jesus mm -hmm. Amen. so looking at your facebook that's something we are doing about um, looking at some railroads or some some names on the railroads can you remember we are holding a cup that has some names in london <laughs> about um different railroads different names i think you're using to evangelize in london mm. i think it's, it's quite a long time ago i think maybe it was 2007 or something like that okay yeah but i believe that our music should be able to help us to reach out to people help us to evangelize yeah and give all the glory to god to the lord yes. you're giving a powerful testimony about how you gave your life to christ as well about um how god ministered to you and uh so i don't know what i can say a little bit about that it may be able to encourage somebody yeah um i believe there is one thing going to church there is another thing being in relationship with the one that mm. has called us to be church uh, like i said when i was in nigeria i go to church i was a mm. christian but i never had a relationship with the lord mm. so when i got the calling to to worship i i thought in my life that wow if i want to talk about him that has called me that mm -hmm. i need to know him and build a relationship with him and after that time i started like i said initially i started studying the word of god and that is why when i go to any um I attend any fellowship and anything that is that is not biblical or or perverted kind of i mm -hmm. i always stand against it right there and then mm. i don't care whether people like me i don't i because i want to say because there are some people in that gathering or in that fellowship that may mm. not know what is true but when yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. when when it's not true it's coming out I, I i to me i take it as a responsibility to stand and say no the lord did not say so so mm. and this has come out from being 
building a relationship with the Lord. So, mm. and that's why I just want to say this, that many people go to church, but they don't really have relationship with the mm. Lord of the church. And we are church. These buildings we go to, they are fellowship. We mm. are the church and mm. we need, and you can't know this. You can't know your identity except you go into the word of him yeah. that has given you the identity through the blood of Jesus. And mm. that's why I don't, I don't, I don't mind re, um, losing friends when you begin to pervert the gospel because mm. the gospel has come to set us free. Mm. But when you pervert the gospel, it keeps the people in slavery. Mm. And that is not what Jesus has come to, say, to, 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 mm. do, to do. He came that we may be set free. But when the mm. gospel is perverted, people will remain in bondage, even mm. though they are going to church. So mm. having a relationship with the Lord has brought this light and I'm continuing to grow and listen to people uh, that, that, that the Lord has really shaped them from being a slave to a child, truly. Mm. Many Christians are still living as slaves whilst they're mm. in, in, the, in, in, in the kingdom. But we are children, the, the, God, the kingdom, we are children of the kingdom. And it, there's no uh, a king's child that still mm. lives like a slave. So mm. what this this is this like what you uh, say when I gave my life I've already been a Christian but I when I started to to uh, uh, to take the step into worshiping I began to study the Word of God I knew who I was I knew what the Lord has done I I, I one time I was studying from Genesis um, the Old Testament and comparing it with uh, the New Testament, I see how mm. much God has brought us from it to me mm. in the Old Testament was revelation, slavery. Well, how, pe- well, how many of us can keep to what is in the Tarot? The Tarot, the Tarot, the is always <laughs> mouthful for me. So, if you go to Deuteronomy, you Deuteronomy or Levitical, or when you see all the you don't do this, do this. How many of us can keep up to that? But Jesus yeah. came to deliver us and save us from those things. Mm. So why then, after I've accepted Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior, will I continue to live in those things? So um, this all spring up from giving my life to the Lord again mm. and begin to build a relationship with him that's called mm. me. Mouse, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you Amen. Free. Yes. You know, yeah. And you know your other song, um, Jesus the way, the truth and Jesus the life. Jesus the way. But a lot of people believe that you know, you know, you, you have your good and the bad. If the good is more than the bad, you go to heaven, you know. So if I if you can give to the poor, give to the needy, though all those things are good, but what takes us to the kingdom of God is faith in Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Faith in what your Christ did on the cross of Calvary. Mm-hmm. And I believe your song is mentioned to many people, Muslims, atheists. That Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth. <laughs> yeah. I remember <laughs> when I first posted my I'm uh, sorry, Pastor. I remember yeah. when I first said first posted my Jesus the Way on Facebook. Uh, of course it's got more than 1.5 million views now. Wow. But I'm always hearing people, why do you mean Jesus is the way? Why da da da? And I said, Well, according to the word of God, or oh, people wrote the word of God. I say, Yes, God is invisible. <laughs> it needs to people to write the word, you know. It needs yeah. people to put the words down that we human beings may be able to relate with it. Mm-hmm. I said, but the thing is, there are several keys mm-hmm. to open doors. But if mm-hmm. you want to open one your 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 front door, it's one key that will let you into the house. Yeah. So the key to let us, according to the Bible, to let us into heaven is through Jesus. Yeah. And because we, like I said, in, in the book of Levitical, in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, yeah. the five books of Moses, if you read it, there is no way we can pay to mm. get ourselves to heaven. So the yeah. one that made the heavens and the earth belittled himself for so, mm. so much for the love he has for us and came mm. to die for us and pay that. If you can just believe me, so he said, for God so John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, that mm-hmm. he gave his only begotten son. Now, yeah. whosoever believes, there is no place in that place that said, he that does good works will make it to heaven. <laughs> or he that uh, bless the, 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 the fatherless, the motherless, the orphans, the poor, or build house for them and house them will make it to heaven. All mm-hmm. that requires is, whosoever believes mm-hmm. in him will not perish, but have eternal life. It yeah. is good to do good works. It is good to do good works, but mm-hmm. that will not take us to heaven except we mm. accept him 
that came to the world and died for our sin. Even mm. as human, as long as we have this flesh, we still continue to live in one sin or the mm. other. Even those small, small lives, they are still sin. But he, one, has paid for the price. That mm. when we, he said, if he is just and righteous to forgive all our sins and our iniquities, it's only righteous. Jesus that has the power to forgive mm. All our sins is only Jesus that has the uh, that's given the grace that our sins will be washed away and we mm. are made holy. For he that knew no sin became sin that we may become the righteousness of God. Jesus mm. is the only way to the Father's house, for the mm. Father's house to the Father's heart. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Well, to God be the glory. By God's will, we're having our prayer conference, our Easter conference. Believe by God's will, we'll be there in Jesus' name. So I want to pray for somebody right now that is feeling um, down. They're wondering, how am I going to make it? Maybe they want to get into the music ministry. They're having challenges, you know, or they may just be going to church and um, they, they don't really have that relationship. So just pray that God will touch somebody there and encourage them. Take them to that place where they will be able to lift Jesus up from their spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So can you just pray for somebody? Just pray for somebody right now. Yeah. Father, we just thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy and kindness. We thank you that you so much love us. You gave up your throne for 38 whole years to live like us, mm. to live in this, in this um, limiting flesh that you may give all to us. So that we bless your name. And we were even the season where you came, you suffered, you bled, you accepted insult, rejection from the hands of those you made yourself, all because you love us. We mm -hmm. thank you and acknowledge Jesus and say thank you. And Father Lord, I pray for someone out there that is still saying, I don't know this love. I don't understand this love you're talking about, Lord. I pray that you will reach out to such person Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone that is struggling with depression, with hopelessness, with Amen. rejection, that Father, that you will reach out to them and touch their hearts and fill them with overwhelming love in the name of Jesus. Amen. You said you love us so much. You love us so much, Lord. You love us so much. I said no one comes unto you except you draw them. Father, Lord, so I'm praying for someone that is, that is hurting right now, that is feeling hopeless right now, that is feeling depressed right now, that doesn't even know the way out right now, that you will reach out to that person and that person will begin to live in your unfailing love, in your unfailing goodness, mm -hmm. in your mercy that endures forever in the name of Jesus. And every, every, every obstacle Amen. in the life of, of, of these people, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would take away in the name Amen. of Jesus, that you will win them and they'll become a great vessel in your awesome hands in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow, that was powerful. Maybe you're here, you've not given your life to Christ. You've not made Jesus your Lord and Savior. Or as you were saying, you can just be going to church, just going to say the grace. <laughs> but God is calling you to a relationship. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So this is not a coincidence. This is a God incident. Or maybe you're backslidden. This is an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. He will come in and turn your life around. Yes. And give you divine peace, divine rest, divine grace in Jesus' name. So just say this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. And he rose again on the third day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I repent of all my sins. I break every yoke with the devil. And I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Help me to walk in holiness and righteousness. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow, you pray that prayer. You're born again. Jesus is in your life. Hallelujah. There Amen. is so much joy in heaven.
So just send me a text on 4479-504-86092. That's 4479-504-86092. And just say, I'm born again. I can give you a copy of my book, You Can Overcome by the Blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. So just do it today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God may be late when you have to sow a seed to Sister Ruth. You can go to holyghostchapel.org forward slash donate and leave a note on the PayPal there. Or if you want to partner with the ministry, the same place, holyghostchapel.org forward slash donate. God bless you in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow, that's powerful. And I'm so blessed. And, you know, there's um, a lot of um, revelations on the purpose of God. All things are working together unto those who love God and are yes. called according to his purpose. Amen. So thank you so much. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's share the Amen. grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Remember, Amen. this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Glad we love you all. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below, and we'll see you at the conference as well. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.